sex discrimination. A trailblazing advocate for gender equality and a cultural icon. U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, whose long and pioneering legal career was driven by her own struggles as a woman in a male-dominated profession. At Harvard Law School, she was one of just nine women in a class of 500. After graduating from Columbia top of her class, she still had a hard time finding a job because federal judges didn't want to hire women. In 1972, Ginsburg co-founded the Women's Rights Project at the American Civil Liberties Union. By 1974, the body had participated in over 300 gender discrimination lawsuits. Ginsburg gained a reputation for her slow and steady approach, favoring winnable battles over flashy cases, as she gradually laid the legal foundations for gender equality. In 1993, she was nominated to the Supreme Court by Bill Clinton, making her only the second woman to serve on America's top judicial body. There, she continued to defend women's rights with rulings on controversial issues like abortion and was renowned for being a great dissenter. When people would ask her how many of the court's nine seats should be held by women, she always gave the same reply. When do you think there will be enough? obvious when there are nine. <laughs> her small stature combined with her refusal to be intimidated saw her rise to the status of pop culture icon, earning her the nickname Notorious RBG. Donald Trump's nomination of two Supreme Court justices left Ginsburg one of four progressives crucial to maintaining the balance on the conservative-leaning court. She survived several bouts of cancer and a heart operation and was hospitalized multiple times in recent years. Ginsburg always said she would carry on with her job as long as her health allowed. Well aware that her death or retirement under a conservative president could see the court take a definitive swing to the right, shifting U.S. policy for decades to come and jeopardizing her own progressive legacy.